All right, let's try this again, shall we? Hello, everybody, Monos. Hello, everybody, Monos Fears Gamer, and welcome back to another one to five scale Minecraft Battleship tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build the USS Tennessee, now the USS California BB44 Tennessee class battleship. The Tennessee, the no, USS California was the second of two Tennessee class battleships built for the United States Navy between Hercule Lang in October of 1916 and her commissioning in August of 1921. The Tennessee class were part of the standard series of 12 battleships built in the 1910s and the 1920s and were developments of the preceding New Mexico class. They were armed with a battery of 12 14-inch guns for, and four three-gun turrets. California served as the flagship of the battle fleet in, in the Pacific Ocean for the duration of her peacetime career. She spent the 1920s and the 1930s part participating in routine fleet training exercises including annual fleet problems and cruises around the Americas and further abroad, such as goodwill visit, such as a goodwill visit to Australia and New Zealand in 1925. California was moored in Pearl Harbor on the 7th of December 1941 when the Japanese attacked the port, bringing the United States into World War II. The ship was moderately damaged by by a pair of torpedoes and a bomb, but fire but a fire disabled the ship's electrical system, preventing the pumps from being used to keep the ship afloat. California slowly filled with water over the following three days, and eventually sank. Her crew suffered heavy casualties in the attack, and four men were awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions during the attack. She was raised in April of 1942, repaired and heavily rebuilt, and returned to service in January of 1944. The ship thereafter supported the amphibious operations conducted during the Pacific War, including the Mariana and Palau Island campaigns and the Philippine campaign, Philippines campaign, during which she took part in the Battle of the Saragau Strait. She was hit by a kamikaze during the invasion of the Lingayen Gulf in January of 1945. After repairs, join, after repairs, joined the fleet supporting the troops fighting in Okinawa during the Battle of Okinawa. Her crew took part in occupation of Japan after the end of the war and after returning to the United States via the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean, she was laid up in Philadelphia in 1946. She remained in the fleet's inventory until 1959, when she was broken up for scrap. So, not a very, not a very interesting battleship, honestly. Um, this is, uh, now I'm sure most of you wanted to see her in her late war appearance, appearance. Um, I might do her sister ship in her late war appearance, but for now, you just get, uh, Tennessee by herself. Um, what else? Oh yeah, if you decide to build this, make sure to give me credit, please. Um, I've had quite a few of my builds stolen recently, and it's really annoying. Anyway, but moving on. We go to the back here we have the uh, crane for the seaplane you have the aftermost catapult it's really not good <laughs> you have her two aft turrets um, and a catapult on top of her third turret you have light boats on either side and her cage mast in the center with her spotting tower and a couple searchlights around yeah, like that. You have two funnels and our lifeboat cranes on the side with uh, various amounts of lifeboats. You have four superstructures with the cage mass coming out of it and the um, spotting tower. And then up front here you have the first and second turrets and then your anchors and your. Uh, Mass at the front. Moving on to the sides around here, you have casements and the hull. Unlike the other standard type battleships that came before her, unlike the um, other standard type battleships that came before her, she did not have casements in her hull when she was commissioned, as she was commissioned pretty late. 
uh, compared to the rest of the class, uh, rest of the ship. But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this. Alright, moving into, uh, the tutorial, we're going to start off with, of course, layer one. Now, if you're building this in the water, this will be on the second block underwater. So, anyway, you want to start off, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red terracotta blocks. With one, two, three, four brick top slabs. Then one, two, three uh, red terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red terracotta with brick slabs on them. Just like that. And then you want to go back in and you want one, two, three. Brick terracotta. And then four brick top slabs. And you want to go in the middle, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red terracotta, a brick stair, brick top slab, and then two brick walls. Another side of this uh, slab, where'd it go? There we go. You want a skeleton skull, not touching it. And you want one, two, three end rods coming off of it. And then on that last end rod, you want a skeleton skull coming off of it, and then one, two, three end rods. Just like so. Ow. There we go. And then. Once you are finished, uh, it should look just like this from the top. Alright, so you, you're going to want to flip it over to the other side. The ship is completely symmetrical. So, yeah. Um, yeah, moving into layer 2. Alright, moving on to our next layer, we're going into layer 2. So you want, at the front, you want 1, 2, 3, 4 red terracotta. Go diagonally, you want 1. Two, three, four, five, six red terracotta, a brick stair on the side, and a brick slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Just like uh red terracotta, just like that. And then you want to go forward. One, two, three, and uh, Four on the fourth block, 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, stained, red stained glass panels, just like that. And then you want 1, 2, 3 brick slabs coming off of the uh, red terracotta, just like that. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 red terracotta on the inside. And then 1, 2 off of it, just like that. Go in the middle, one, two, and then forward facing upside down brick stair, a brick slab, and then a crimson trap door. And then once you're done with that, you want to copy that to the other side. And then from above, the layer should look just like this. All right, all right. Moving on uh, into our last fully on, uh, fully half on, half off layer. It's layer three. All right. So going in, you want to go to layer. You want to go up front. You want three cyan terracotta and then a polished deep slate stair at the front. You want a polished deep slate slab on the side, and then one, two, three, four cyan terracotta, and then a deep slate, polished deep slate stair. Then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. 
cyan terracotta, and then a polished deep slate stair at the back. You can go inside, you want one, two, three, four, five, and then polished deep slate stair. Go in, and then you want two cyan, cyan terracotta. And then um, on the first cyan terracotta here, on the uh, very edge, you want one, two, dark oak signs, and then you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen stained glass panels, and then two more dark oak signs. You want to fill in least at least half of the deck with oakwood planks and then we will move into layer four all right moving into our uh last um <clears throat> layer on the hull we are moving into layer four all right. Okay. So you want to go to the front here, and you want two cyan terracotta and a polished deep slate slab. On the second cyan terracotta, you want a polished deep slate slab and a wood skeleton skull on it. You want one, two, three, four, five uh, cyan terracotta and a polished deep slate stair. You want to cover press this in button I'm just kind of tired anyway. one. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen cyan terracotta go in you want a pulse deep slate wall and a cyan terracotta in the middle then you want to copy it up here on the side Oak wood planks fill in in front of the deck. Paul Steve slates there on the hull on behind the forecastle, and then you want to take two hundred rods, one next to the stair, and one in front of that, just like that. And then you want one, two, three, four, five buttons forward. One, two, two, three. Dark oak signs, and then the rest of the focal with buttons like that. And moving on, you want So you want a dark oak top, top trap door on this cyan terracotta here, and then wait, never mind. You want dark oak fence gate, up and backwards, mob spawner with polished deep slate wall on the other side, and then a dark oak fence gate opened backward just like that and then you want two cyan terracotta with gray stained glass panels on the side just like that and then we're going to use my typical design for a uh, battleship main gun you want a deep slate brick a polished deep slate brick stair and then Deep slate uh, brick and then deep slate brick stairs just like that. You want to get out with the skeleton skulls, put it on the other side of the last stair, and then double item frames on the center block just like that, and then two dark oak fence gates open 
backwards towards the gun. Hold on a minute. All right. You want iron trap door, polished deep slate slab, iron trap door, and then polished deep slate slab with deep slate wall. Polished deep slate wall. Just like that. And you want to cover the outlying areas of the hull with. Um, pressure plates just like that and that does it for layer 4 uh, moving into layer 5 so the very front, I'm going to place two end rods on top of each other, and then two iron trap doors behind it, with an iron trap door on either side of the hull, right behind it. I'm going to skip a space, on the center, and you want one, two dark oak fence gates opened backward. And then you want... Deep slate brick stair facing forward, deep slate bricks, and deep slate brick stairs on the back with a skeleton skull on either side of the stair, and an item for double item frames on the side of the center block, just like that. And then, you want cyan terracotta? Cyan terracotta with polished deep slit wall on the other side. And then, so we're going to start moving here on the side. You want stair, cyan terracotta, move out one with deep polished deep slit stair, cyan terracotta. Stair, cyan ter terracotta, and a polished deep slate stair. Cyan terracotta, a deep slate stair moving in, and then another cyan terracotta, and then one in the center, just like that. And then you want to take your end rods and put them on all the stairs, just like that. And you want to pre repeat the process on the other side. Just like that. And then you want to take your oak wood planks. <coughs> <coughs> and then fill in the parapet deck or the uh, casement deck. Just like that. And then, on top of the dark oak fence gate, you want a dark oak fence door, and then a moth spawner. And then you want to build another gun on top of this parapet here. So you want deep slate brick stairs. like so and now that you have all that done you want to go in of pressure plates on the wall just like this and 
Né? And we have layer 5 done. We're gonna move on to the layer 6. Layer 6, we're gonna start off with building the final gun. Uh, bow. So, um, like so, just like that. Bad. Bad rod. Okay. You want a polished deep slate slab, uh, no, polished deep slate block with Inward facing dark oak. Fence gates. Dark oak. Trap door. With skeleton skulls facing on a 45 degree angle out. Just like that. And then two cyan terracotta. Two gray stained glass panels on the side and then on the very end you want lever facing forward and then a smooth board slab on the other side behind this slab you want another slab and then levers facing back we're going to go in the center now Deep slate, uh, work wall in the center. And then dark oak fence on the other side, just like that. And then in the center, you want a smooth quartz slab top. A smooth quartz top slab and a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. And then a smooth quartz top slab and then bottom slabs to either side of it. And then behind that, you just want bottom slabs. Just like that. And then on the center here, you want a deep slate brick wall. And then monster spawner on top of the previous one. And then you want a row of one, two, three. Four dark oak trap doors just like this for the catapult on the back of the turret. And then you're going to want to place a uh, oak pressure plate on these stairs. And once you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. Four, layer six. Moving into, hold on. Moving into layer seven. We want Polished deep slate slab on top of the polished deep slate block, and then behind it, you want a deep slate stair, and then behind that, you want a dark oak fence gate open forward with a polished deep slate slab on the other side, just like that, and then polished deep slate stairs on the other side of the superstructure with um, skulls on the uh, sides and back. And in the center you want a monster spawner with 
dark oak sign on the back. There's something I forgot to do. <clears throat> Place smooth quartz slabs on top of these end rods back here. There we go. And then you want to place deep slate brick walls on top of the previous ones. You're going to place an end rod on top of these fence posts, end rods on the ends of these fence posts, and then dark oak fence gates, just like that for the boat, boat cranes. And then you want another monster spawner on top of the previous one with dark oak trap doors around the top, just like that. Moving on to our last couple layers, you want you want a smooth quartz slab on top of the stair up front, just like this. You want a monster spawner on top of the previous one with a skeleton skull on the front of it. And then new cord slabs on the sides. Just like that. And then a second monster spawner on top of that one. A smooth quartz block. Um, the right wall, either side of it, skull and skull on the front, skull and skull on the back, end rods, two end rods on the skull and skull on the back, one on top of it with end rods to either side, and then a polished iron trap door. And this is for the forward structure. You want to get two with a skeleton skull. And then place them on top of each other. On top of the uh, brick wall columns, just like that. You want to place two more monster spawners on top of these two previous ones, just like that. You want to get your. Uh, Skeleton uh, skulls, and then place them on trap doors. You should actually have some with a skeleton skull on top of these walls in here. And then smooth course slab and dart wall to either side. Skeleton skull. With two end rods on top of it, and then two end rods on the other on either side of the top end rod. And then you want a skeleton skull facing backwards. Birch fence gate, and then two the birch fence gate, skeleton skulls, and an end rod to the other side. And just like that, we are done with my design for the USS California BB-44. I hope you all enjoyed, um, and I hope you have just as much fun building it as I did. Um, oh, actually, down here you want to finish the crane. You want an end rod on top of this wall. deep slit slab with dark oak trap doors on top of the slab just like that and then, um no, sorry. okay and then that does it for my design <coughs> for the USS California I hope you all enjoyed as I've said earlier and this is one of the 
eight battleships present at Pearl Harbor during the attack. I will do three more. I'll be doing USS Oklahoma, West Virginia, and the Arizona on the 7th. I'll also be showing off my Pearl Harbor diorama if you'd like to come see it. But, um, yeah, that does it for this tutorial. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I hopefully will and sleep peacefully. But, um, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.